part. Hey you guys, welcome back to Go See Sailing the Sloan Star. We're gonna do Name That Boat Part this Woo! morning. That's exciting. All right, so today we are going to give you some clues. As you guys may have noticed, we've been giving some stuff away here on the channel. So what we're doing is we're using a random comment picker. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason we're laughing at that is because every time we want to say random comment picker, there's another word that comes out. Yeah, <laughs> like a joke. Anyways, um, so when you comment below, we put that into the random comment picker, and then it chooses one of you to win a really cool prize, somebody that has sponsored us and products that we use, so that's really exciting. So what we're doing this week is we're giving away... Sun Gods! my absolute favorite favorite sunglasses they are absolutely phenomenal go check them out on sunguard.co what's amazing about them is the lenses are made from the same windows that they use in airplanes aviation type windows and you can custom make them yourself so you that's can the choose funnest part yeah you can choose the frame color you can choose the emblem color it has a lifelong warranty okay so today on name that boat part we are talking about a Fitting. Okay, two words. It is a piece of hardware. You want to read something, maybe that line on there, tell them, give them another clue. So we want okay, you guys so to comment below. It goes on or near the bow. Okay, so it goes on or near the bow. This part is really an integral part in a sailboat's rigging. Um, especially the dolphin striker and maybe sometimes the whiskers as well. Oh, this oh, piece is friends, friends with, with Bob. Bob. Okay. <laughs> it might also um, be friends with Sprit. Bow Sprit. <laughs> this piece almost got us killed in Puerto Rico. So we were sailing along. Paint the canvas, babe. Give me the knots. Give me the direction. Give me we're the taking swell. out Magic Woman, this beautiful blue catch that I've been working on. My dream to sail around the world. Aubrey and I had just met. Who said this boat doesn't want to go to weather? She wants to go to weather! <laughs> We're happy sailors! Beautiful blue catch that I've been working on, my dream to sail around the world. Aubrey and I had just met about a couple of months ago. We're in love. We are on the boat, we're going to go for this beautiful sail, we're headed for Culebrita. We sail out of Salinas and the wind shows up, it's about 18 to 22 knots of wind, we're on a nice beam reach. We're singing, the music is blaring. Loud, we're making videos for you guys. The waves are coming up onto the tow rail. She's steering, I've got the main sheet in my hand. The He's big, smoking a cigar. It's beautiful like, big boat. This and is what you like, picture when you think, I'm gonna sail into the sunset. Yeah, I was just, and I'm looking at her and she's looking at me and we're like. Just happy, you know. Speaking of happy, what song came on to the stereo system? Because I'm happy and you know, and, uh, yeah, that. And part. then the worst happened. So I said, let's let's tack over. Um, and with Magic Woman, sometimes you have to start the engine to tack over if you don't have enough speed. She's a little fat girl, and so we're trying to come over. And as we tacked over, I just knew something inside of me said that boat didn't feel right. And the next thing I see is that the forestay snaps. That's what I thought. The forestay is off. And the mast, which is a wooden mast, wants to come down. And all I tell her is put the boat into the wind. And as she did that, obviously because the sails, the sails are coming back, the wind turns. And I tell her put the boat to the following seaside. So now the wind is, uh, the, the wind and the ocean is following our bow, our stern, and we're going away, which is the the best thing to do at that point. What happened was, still I didn't know exactly what was gonna ha what was happening. So what I did was I took a halyard. First thing I thought of was the moss should not come down. So I took a halyard, took it forward to the bowsprit and cranked it on the winch. And okay, so we have a four stay now. Now I need to assess the problems. And it seems like the roller furler is loose and it's just going all over the deck. And I mean, you guys can imagine a big roller furler like that. How the hell do you keep that thing stored? It's like a wrecking ball. And it's, 25 knots of wind now, there's a lot of chop, the boat's going port side, starboard side, she's on the helm, and I realized that where the 
rotofurler attaches to it snapped off and this is after the boat to 76 1976 do you guys so, know that boat part yet so do you know that boat part i don't know how i did that that day adrenaline was and um i just tied everything up and we made ourselves Back to shore we did with not engine. tie everything up. We actually were still dragging some sheet lines that we didn't notice, and we ended up fouling the prop. And as right. we were coming into the tight channel, we lost power. So now we're just headed into this tiny tight channel. So I'm so tired and stressed out. And so as we come in, and we're just making it to little channel. It's about four boat lengths now. I have to jump in the water, keep my breath, go down, and cut this loose after I just strike. And we're in some really rough sea. Luckily, by God's grace, I got the, the line of the prop, came into Salinas, anchored the boat, and as we did, she got sick over the side. <laughs> I'm like, we almost died. And I just passed out. Say, so what are we looking at, kids? <laughs> well, if we weren't sailors this morning, we're sailors now. <laughs> And that, you know, a lot of people always ask us, so you sail around the world or you sail, have you ever encountered a storm or something bad happens? And I'm like, yeah. We always think of that time. That's one of the time. Read the next clue, my darling. Usually made out of bronze. This one was made out of bronze, but it can also be made out of stainless steel. Yeah, the reason that it broke was that when it was cast, it had little tiny bubbles inside. So it created a weak point, and after 40 some odd years, it just couldn't hold up any longer. Do you have anything else there? Uh, two more things. You are most likely to find it on an older sailboat. Most likely to find it on an older sailboat. Yeah, so some of the, the boats like the Formosas and the, the Sea Wolves, those have it. Any tall ship. Tall ships have them. There are loops on the piece. Okay, you guys, so if you know, you're probably screaming out and already commenting. So please like this video, share this video, comment below, and let's see which one of you got this right. Don't forget that these are up for grabs. This is uh, the Renegades. There's many other series of these sun god of these sun gods. Go and check them out. Comment below, and you might be walking away with a brand new pair of sun god sunglasses. We will see you next time on Go See Sailing Miss Lone Star on Guess That Boat Part. Check out the next video for the answer. Metal are just going to have a field day with this.